Okay, so it's been a couple of days and I do believe I'm ready to try filling this system. So I'm gonna try and bring you guys along with me here and watch me run around like a crazy person chasing leaks. So I cleaned up everything for the most part, tools and stuff, uh, so nothing gets wet. And this time I actually wire tied all my hoses down there because usually what happens is just the full pressure of bleeding these lines ends up blowing the hose out of the sump pump and it splashes water everywhere and that ends up making more of a mess than the minor leaks that I've got here. So um, one thing that I wanted to try, normally I've been backfilling the system like I mentioned through the research. So, I'm going to shut the tankless off for now because it is going through the tankless and I really don't need to be wasting hot water. So one thing I wanted to do was try turning the hot on and seeing because that will fill this. Try seeing if that leaks my solder joint holds. So we'll go ahead and crack that a little bit and that will also tell us if my check valve here is going to hold. Pressure's rising here. Okay, so far so good on the solder joint. I do, f I do hear it filling though, how can it be filling unless it's sneaking past is it sneaking past these valves <laughs> it's kind of odd really shouldn't do that but let me try cracking it a little bit more here okay we're wide open 50 pounds and I hear air coming out of that bleeder so um, yeah I don't know why it's getting past these valves unless they're stuck we must be filling the tank somehow because it's bleeding air from it which is a little odd but uh, anyway um, I'm actually going to close that off and I'm going to open the recirc line now Okay, I'm actually going to crack this top one here. That will purge a lot of the air faster than that little bleeder. So we'll open this up. I'm also going to turn this on just for a minute. Okay, there's that. Okay, we're wide open on that. So the water should be coming in here. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so now we're purging up through here. And that, and this. No pressure. a little concerning as to how it was filling the tank getting by those two check valves that makes me wonder but the good news is I do not see any drips from here so huh, after all that we might have fixed it so I can hear air coming out of there okay so that tank is filling Wonder if those wonder if those one if those check valves are gonna work. Those these are gonna work the way I wanted them to. Yeah, worst case I just throw the check valves back in there. So let's crack this one a little bit. That'll allow water from the loop 
the main loop in the basement also into the system. Might just help us purge some air. Oh yeah, I hear that. I hear more air coming out of that little bleeder. Okay, so we're purging. Some pumps running. Do not see any leaks. I could close this a little bit. Okay, that's wide open. Okay, so I believe the tank is full. Now I'm going to slowly turn this off. that noise oh the uh, sump pump okay sump pump had to prime itself sounds like I don't know why it lost its prime but uh, okay so We're at 55 pounds, depending at which gauge you look at here. I don't see any leaks. Okay, I don't see any leaks over here. Let's open this up. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, that's coming out of that valve. Damn, these valves are all loose from the factory. I don't know why they do that. Okay, this is really this is really good. Okay. So let's do this. Let's disconnect this. And let's fill. Uh, let's go up to here. Okay, let's shut. Oh, what was that? Shut that off. Shut this off. Let's turn this on. Oh yeah, there's air in there. No, oh, not a lot there.
switch over to the other side of the heater here. And we'll just flush through the heater now. Get all the air out from the inside of the heaters. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, let's open, so let's open this up. Let's also purge this line here. So, pretty good here, I believe. Let's um, fix this little nut here. So, because right here is just, this is leaking. And these usually are not on here very tight, so you just undo this, this handle off. Carefully, you don't want to strip it out, especially with such a big wrench. But uh, oh, yeah, that's really loose. Wow, okay. Okay, that's pretty tight. I don't want to go see where I'm grabbing that. Should stop that from leaking. So this is really good news. Looking good here. Okay. So let's open this one up. Ah, what do we have water in there? Shouldn't this be draining? <laughs> That's okay. It's just a little bit of water here. Cup under it. It is a basement, and I'm not super concerned about the water, but I just don't want to be kneeling in it all night while I'm down here messing with this. I'm going to purge the outlet of this from my head. Sorry about the camera work here. I'm not really paying attention. Did I just see a drip? See, this should all be good because I pressure tested this a long time ago. Okay. All right. I do not see anything. I'm just going to grab a towel here and just soak that up a little bit. Let's purge this tankless now. A lot 
lot of air in there. See it sputtering down there. So both those open right now and let's slowly open these. If there is any air in there, should purge out. Oh yeah, I just heard a bunch of air, so. Let's open this back up all the way. Right, let's close let's close this. open that back up that's a lot of air oh because I'm letting air in <laughs> ah, I don't want to do that uh, open this back up whoops so by stopping that I was air was sucking in here this is where it starts to get crazy um, water going into the tank I was thinking it would come out and bypass this, but it can't. I had this off. So it basically closes everything over here off and then I'm sucking air in. So I need to purge that all that air that I just let into the system <laughs> back out. Oops. So now let's close this. So that shuts off my incoming water from over here. So now it's only being filled by where it should be filled from. Ah crap, I see a drip. Where is that leaking from? Is that coming from? Is that old? Yeah, can't tell where it's coming from. I don't see anything. Huh. I don't see anything dripping. It's a weird spot. I don't see, the only thing I can think of is right here. Ah, yes, right, yeah, right there. Okay, it's gotta be tightened. Okay, so let's shut these off, off, off. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna do a couple things here. I'm gonna tighten that packing nut up. And I'm gonna leave it on for a few minutes and uh, see what happens here. So, I'll also have to change the battery. So, I'll be back. <laughs> 